Ryan said that he's extremely funny. He does this thing during training that he calls heavyweight walks. <laughs> So I guess what he'll do is he just takes a nice long walk during training just to kind of clear his mind, I guess, and they, they call it heavyweight walks. And he's doing the heavyweight walk right now to the cage. Here comes Charles Chainsaw Sullivan. I'm guessing he's going to be very entertaining. From what you just told me, by the crowd here, that people look like they love him, I think we're in for a show. For everything that Ryan said, he, he rants and raves about Charles Sullivan. He said he's got a legit high kick, a legit high kick for a big man. I'd love to see it if we actually get to see that unfold in the cage here tonight. So no, no actual sanctioned fights as an amateur mixed martial artist, but I was told he had a couple of backyard fights, yep. and he won those by TKO. So. And you see him, he's a, he's a massive guy, he's got, I'm sure he's got a lot of power. And his opponent, that he's going to be taking on, Abdul Kieta, this is a guy that I know is a, is a legit striker. He's been training at Young's MMA and Thunderpick Boxing for quite a long time now. So, if this takes place on the feet, we might be in for a treat here. What an interesting matchup. You know, I trained with a guy, Mario Big Hurt Rinaldi who was probably a 300 pounder, could do a standing backflip. You know, don't underestimate the big guys. That Don't underestimate them. I mean, this, this guy is huge. Oh, Abdul, man. six foot six. He's going the wrong way into the cage also. <laughs> He's taking a lap around. Oh, they just told him, get over here. He's laughing now. That's awesome. He was in the moment, man. He threw his shirt into the crowd, went the wrong way. And he looks, he looks more athletically built, but I'm not going to, but I, I, I learned not to judge. Don't, don't judge. blink. Don't blink. I, <laughs> I've been looking forward to this fight. And, I mean, a lot, a lot of fights on this card, to be honest. I mean, the, the whole lineup is fantastic. But this one here, I got circled because super heavyweight. Both of these guys like to throw hands. We could be in for something special. So great. This is so great. They're both big boys. Ladies and gentlemen, our next fight is a three-round scheduled Northern Maine Super Heavyweight Attraction. Oh, the crowd loves it, too. Introducing crowd. first, fighting out of the blue corner to my right. He comes to us from Skowhegan, Maine, and represents Vision Quest Muay Thai. Ladies and gentlemen, Charles Sullivan! And his opponent, standing directly across the cage, fighting out of the red corner to my left. He comes to us representing Rebel Fight Club and is from right here in Bangor, Maine. Here we go. Charles Sullivan out of the blue corner. Abdul Kita out of the red. I'm, I'm pumped for this. All right, here we go. Oh, right off the bat. They're ready to mix it up. No hesitation. Chainsaw's got a hold of Abdul. Maybe looking for a takedown. I was going to say, if he picks him up, I'm going to freak out. <laughs> well, Chainsaw's on top. I got to be honest, I was really hoping for this to be on the feet, but we still got hope. It is what it is. We're on the ground right now, and Abdul looks to be doing a pretty good job of, well, Looked like there for a second he might have been able to get back up to his feet, yeah. but Chainsaw said no to that idea. And he's heavy on top of Abdul here early on in round one. Yeah, we're going to find out how much time these guys spent on the ground, working the ground skills. Got a full mount by Chainsaw Sullivan. Dropping some bombs, exciting the crowd. 
not much of them, not really connecting. Yeah, well, Abdul has those long arms. He's yeah. able to kind of stifle Chainsaw from getting in there and landing flush. So great defense there by Abdul. Looks like uh, Abdul's going to push off, try to get him off, turnover. I think he might use the kick. What are we doing? Did we get a cage grab? John English standing the fighters up. I'm not sure why. I don't think, no, I think it was he, grabbing the cage, I think. I think it might have been a cage grab. Couldn't see from here. Okay. That looks like that may be exactly what it does. Stop the turnover as Abdul was trying to roll him over. He might have grabbed the cage. John English, one of the best refs in the business. Bellator, local scene legend. And we're back to our stand up. All right, well, I get my wish. Back to stand up. Ooh, Abdul's coming forward, looking to land a big shot. Oh, and he landed a couple of shots on Chainsaw. Chainsaw's back is up against the cage. And he's eating them. He's throwing back now. This is what the fans came to see. This is it. Fans are fans are ready, man. Oh, oh Sullivan took left, a big one there. That left hurt him. The oh, left, the right. That's Dude. John English I, almost stepped he, in. I thought he was going to step know, in. He halfway stepped in. He said, "Let it go." I'm actually glad he didn't because uh, you could tell uh, Charles Sullivan has his wits about he's him. He's still but, up. Oh, and he's on top man. now. Man. Abdul tried to take him down, but the, the angle that they were on, on, Chainsaw ends up on top. Oh, and he's got the crucifix going. He's got that arm trapped. Charles Sullivan landed some shots to the top of the head of Abdul Keita right now. John English right on top of things. We just hit the 10 second marker, and that's he it! it! with six seconds to go! He saw this one. gentlemen, the end comes at two minutes and 54 seconds of the very first round. Referee John English calls a halt to this contest. Your winner, via TKO, from Skowhegan, Maine, Charles.